Are you having sign-in issues with Power BI and using ADFS with Azure Active Directory? We're going to take a look at an issue that has come up on the support side. That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today we're going to take a look at a sign-in issue with Power BI where you're using ADFS along with Azure Active Directory in a federated configuration and you encounter an error when you try to sign in with from the client apps perspective. So this is like the mobile apps or Power BI desktop or uh, like the AS connector or the personal gateway. To illustrate this, let's go ahead and show the actual web sign in and we'll show that that's working correctly. So if we go to Internet Explorer, app.powerbi.com, It'll redirect to my ADFS server and the dashboard comes up perfectly fine. I didn't have to type in any credentials, it just signed me in. So if we go take a look at the analysis services connector, when we go to sign in with Power BI account, we'll go ahead and put in our credential here. It'll redirect to our ADFS server and we'll encounter an error here. We can reproduce the same thing by doing the Power BI desktop. So if we come to get data, we'll go to more, we can do CRM. We have our URL here for uh, CRM online. Go ahead and hit okay. And because this is in the O365 bubble, we need to use our organizational account. When we go to sign in here, we should see the same error that we saw in the AS connector. And we get our error. So, What's happening here is that the client applications are using a modal dialog and it's forcing forms authentication on us. And whereas the web browser, we're just using Windows authentication and we're passing that through. This comes down to the configuration within ADFS itself. And so what I'll show you here is the configuration for ADFS 3.0. I don't have ADFS 2.0 set up. I'm using Windows Server 2012 R2, so that's using ADFS 3.0. I'll have a link in the description below for configuration changes on how to do that with ADFS 2.0. So let's go to my domain controller. We'll pull up ADFS. And so if we click on authentication policies, over on the right here, we can click edit global primary authentication. Click on that. And down below under intranet, you'll see that forms authentication is not checked. And so where you would get this error is if you're doing this from within your local network. So if you're outside your local network, it'd be going through the extranet piece of this, which would use forms authentication by default. And so from an intranet perspective, we want to enable forms authentication as well as Windows authentication. And we can hit apply and then okay. So now that we've made that change, we need to go reset the ADFS service. Okay, and let's go back to our AS connector and we'll do this again, sign in. And now you see that it brought us to our actual forms auth page. That's part of ADFS, so we'll go ahead and sign in. And it signed in successfully. Okay, so this looked at your ADFS configuration and the fact that we need forms authentication enabled for the Power BI client applications in order to use that from an intranet perspective. Otherwise, you'll get errors when you try to sign in. This also highlights the different services involved in the environment. And so from a sign-in perspective, this is all about Azure Active Directory and how you have configured uh, within that service. So it's not necessarily a Power BI thing. This could happen with anything from O365 or CRM or any of those items that have to use forms authentication internally. You're gonna encounter this problem. So it's not specific to Power BI. It's an Azure Active Directory thing. I'd love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave those down below. Um, if you've encountered this issue, maybe you had a, a different error that was kind of along the Azure Active Directory or ADFS uh, scenario. I'd love to hear about that. And again, I have a link to the ADFS 2.0 configuration changes in the description below. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I do a walkthrough of a technical issue that I found that might be interesting to you. And then every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week of the top things that were interesting to me, um, and I share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I want to get as much information out as possible to help you be more successful at your job. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.